everyone. I'm Le from Huawei. Yeah, I'm Xin from Intel. Uh, today's session is a joint uh, presentation from us. We would like to introduce some knowledge uh, to of a virtual crypto device to you. Okay, this is uh, today's agenda. First, firstly, we will give you an overview of virtual crypto device spec. And then we will also introduce the virtual crypto device specification and the implementation as well. Finally, we will review uh, current work and the future plan of virtual crypto device. As we all know, cryptography is used widely in uh, different fields, such as the wireless communication, data center, and enterprise systems, etc. It's a compute-intensive tasks which uh, consume a lot of CPU cycles. And for, so hardware accelerators which support SRV are uh, offered. It's, it's, it has good performance, but we, we also know there are some limitations. For example, it has limited uh, VF and PF resources. And we need different VF driver for different device across different vendors. And it's very hard for like migration, right? <coughs> so that's why we introduce what you have crypto device. It's it's cloud uh, friendly device, and it provides a device ag uh, agnostic uh, interface for guest driver. It's also live migration friendly. Besides that, it also has a good scalability and low cost in software. So we have talked about a lot of benefits from what you have crypto device. So what's what you what you have crypto device? It's a virtual cryptography device which provides a unified uh, operation interface for different uh, for different cryptography operations. And there are many contributors from different companies such as um, Intel, Huawei, uh, SUSE, Red Hat, IBM, etc. And community. Okay, let's see the specification of what a crypto device. The device ID is Delo X1054, and the what a crypto device has specific feature base and a specific configuration. For the specific feature base, it's used to support multiplexing mode for symmetric service, and the specific configuration is. It includes uh, the number of max maximum queues and the detailed crypto algorithm max bits and some other mix misc fields such as the maximum key length supported. The Wethel crypto device has one control queue for session or control request and it ha has one or more data queues for service request. Currently, uh, the crypto device defined it two kind of two kinds of crypto services: the symmetric and the asymmetric services. Okay, this is the with queue design. It has one control queue. The control the control queue is used for session management for symmetric service, and it facilitates control operations for device. The data queue are used to transfer crypto service requests. This is the request of control queue. It consists of two parts, the, the general header and the service specific fields, such as the fixed size in session mode and the variable size in multiplexing mode. Next, I will introduce the session mode and the multiple Plexi mode as well. Okay, the request of data queue is most similar with the control queue. We can see that the different is a general herder, is structure is different from the control queue. Okay, this is the detailed information of a specific configuration. We can see from the structure, there are several fields to uh, supported for the what have crypto device. I'd like to see the status is used to show whether the device is ready to work or not. 
and the crypto services is used to express uh, the crypto services supported by the device and the d detailed algorithm mask base is used to, to show the supported algorithm by the device and some other cues just like max cipher key lens and max mask authenticated key lens Okay, let's see this magic crypto service. It has uh, two working mode, the session mode and the multiplex mode. Actually, I mentioned it before as well. The session mode is efficient for those numerous requests with the same contest. Uh, for example, the types of uh, algorithm, the key, initiate vector, and the key length, etc. The multiplex mode is used to support stateless mode as well as session mode. The stateless mode is proposed to, cons to reduce cost of session creation for those one short requests, which is controlled by FidgetBits. Currently, there are four kind of uh, crypto services are uh, supported. Cypher, Hush, Mac, and AED. For Cypher and AED, the encryption and the decryption operations are supported. For the asymmetric crypto service, there is no session concept, and all requests are conveyed in data queue. Currently defined the service operations include signature and verification, encryption and decryption, key generation and key exchange. Okay, uh, as, as Lei has mentioned before, the session is uh, introduced for symmetric crypto service only in current specification. So the session benefits to those numerous uh, crypto operation requests with the same context. Uh, and the session operations is the, uh, are the only traffic in control queue in current specification. Let's see a bit more detail uh, how a session is created and destroyed uh, from this diagram. Okay, let's see. Uh, the, the guest in the left, right? The guest will uh, initial, initial a uh, uh, a resource uh, allocator uh, before it uh, send the encryption or decryption request to the, de uh, to the driver. Uh, while some interface, this interface could be, for example, the um, set key interface uh, in Linux kernel grip framework. And the driver uh, construct the, uh, the request, the session creation request and put it into the control queue. And also, finally, it, it will also kick the um, control queue to notify the device. And, the de and in the device side, the device, once the device get the notification uh, from the driver, it will uh, get the, uh, it will, okay, it will uh, uh, and, uh, pass the request and uh, try to uh, create a session context in the device. And also he, uh, return the result field in the uh, in the corresponding field in the, uh, in the request packet. And update the used ring to notify the device, uh, to, to notify the driver. And the driver get the response, and if the result is, is successful, and it will record the session ID. That's all for, uh, for session creation. After the session is created and all subsequent crypto operations can use this session ID for, for encryption or decryption, such as uh, this kind of uh, crypto operations. And when the crypto application completes all the requests, it tries to initiate a resource cleanup request to the driver. And at this point, the driver will um, construct the session destroy request and put it into the control queue. 
also it, it will not uh, kick the control queue to notify the device, the backend device. In the device side, it also has the same uh, handle flow as the search and creation. Okay, uh, uh, as they also mentioned before, the session is not always needed. When multiplexing mode is negotiated between the device and the driver, the, pack, uh, the, the session can be also encaptured into the data queue and sent to the device directory. Okay, so, so we, we will uh, have a look at the uh, data request in the in next slide. So in this slide, uh, I will introduce the service operations for, for data request. This is the, the main traffic in the data queue. Okay, in, in the left side, the guest crypto application in the guest uh, initialize some uh, crypto operations such as the uh, encryption, decryption in Linux kernel crypt f f framework. And the device will in, uh, Encapture, uh, will capture this information and construct a request, uh, encryption or decryption request to, uh, and send it to the uh, device. Also, it will kick the device to notify the device there is some available descriptors, uh, available requests, I think, yeah. And then in the device side, it will pass all the parameters from data queue. And if the session mode is negotiated between the device and the driver, the session ID should be extracted uh, from the request packet as well. The, the device will use this, this session ID to find a context inside the device and invoke the backend, uh, backend to, um, to, to execute the real Crypto application, uh, crypto operations. Finally, it will also up, update the result and also update the use stream and notify the uh, from end driver. But uh, but we, we can also also we also noted the kick and the notify is not uh, required in all in all case. It, it I think it, it it depends on the implementation. For example, for for our we host user. Implementation in the host, the kick is not necessary. The device can also pull the control queue to get all the request. Oh, maybe the uh, sequence diagram is too small. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see the software implementation about what type crypto solution. In guest, the what how crypto driver can be stored in the Linux kernel space, uh, Linux space, uh, li sorry, uh, in the Linux kernel. Or you can also use the user space mode driver. For the Linux kernel space driver, the driver can be plugged into the Linux kernel crypt, uh, crypto framework. The Linux kernel crypt Crypto framework pro, uh, export a set of uh, crypto operations for both symmetric and asymmetric algorithms. But the user space driver is uh, thinking about the performance. In the host side, we need to realize the de device implementation. Uh, Basically, it's, it includes the uh, what have device emulation and uh, its crypto device backend. The crypto device backend, oh sorry. Uh, the crypto device backend can be realized into different uh, child, such as the built-in backend or we host the backend. And uh, as the we host the backend, the server can be implemented in the kernel space and the user space as well. Next, I will show the detail about the crypto device backend. 
this is a group device backend in the QMU is an user creatable object and is a child of Q the top QMU object. It is easily to be realized with different child objects. We can also from the key code in the light side. Uh, the crypto DB back uh, backend is the abstract interface. This is a built-in backend. It is a child of crypto device backend, uh, which is make use of the crypto APIs in QMU on the, the crypto subsystem. <coughs> there are four implementations in crypto subsystem currently. As the AFLG driver in the crypto subsystem, uh, as an example, the Huawei guys contribute in the driver in the QMU community. This is we host the backend. It's another child of crypto DB backend. There are two kinds of implementations currently. The we host the kernel client and the we host the user client. The we host the user client can be integrated uh, in DPDK, ODP, or Libre we host. The uh, the example QMU command line show here, you can refer to it if you'd like to try. Uh, by the way, we are working on the, uh, we host the user backend in, uh, based on the DBDK general, we host the herder. And it will be upstreamed in future. Okay, so I, I would like to uh, review our working states and future plans. Uh, as you can see, we have marked all items in different colors. Uh, you can see uh, different colors uh, re represent different status for each item <coughs> in the in a, uh, in a bottom of this, this page. Actually, if, uh, in, a sp in a spec side, uh, we have pushed out the virtual crypto uh, specification which support asymmetric service and asymmetric service is still under review. And we would like to uh, support more service, uh, for example, uh, primitive service as, all, as, as well. Uh, in the host side, uh, we, uh, the QMU, uh, virtual crypto device implementation and the built-in backend for symmetric service support has been accepted in QMU community. And the uh, the crypto device we host user backend client is also under review in QMU uh, community. And for the uh, uh, crypto dev, uh, built in crypto dev backend for, to, uh, for asymmetric service support, we are still working on that. And also, just like uh, Lei mentioned, we are still working on the we host user for virtual crypto, uh, crypto device in DBDK. So, in the guest side, Actually, the virtual crypto device uh, from N driver is accepted by uh, Linux community. Uh, it, it now only supports symmetric service, and we are still working on the asymmetric support in Linux kernel space driver. And we, we are also working on the DBDK, uh, uh, user space polymer driver in DBDK as well. And in the, in the last item, we, uh, it's a, it's a plan we also try to support more algorithms and multi-data queue or life migration. Okay, uh, as a summary, so virtual crypto solution is a viable solution for cloud and virtual crypto device has been uh, pushed to the virtual community. And current defined service include symmetric crypto service, uh, asymmetric crypto service. And we have uh, complete the fundamental implementation uh, in this community. You can find the reference code in Linux kernel, in QMU, or, uh, or maybe in DBDK in future. And we are still working on uh, some uh, service support, for example, uh, asymmetric crypto service support and algorithms. 
Okay, so if you have more questions, uh, if, you, if you need to get more information about what you are crypto or DBDK or InterQT, please uh, visit this link to get more information. So welcome more contributions to what your crypto device. So this is our sharing uh, this afternoon. Thank you. Any questions? You talked about more algorithm, encryption algorithm. What about RNG? Yeah, RNG, we, we, we try to, uh, I just mentioned, we would like to support primitive service. This would be include the RNG device, uh, service, I think. Uh, I'm concerned about uh, the, uh, keeping the guest uh, secrets secret. I mean, keys and stuff like that, since all the implementation QB, and if you're doing uh, host acceleration, the host acceleration, you pass it to the host. So all this data is actually could be uh, exposed. Yeah, the guest can get the, those information. What? I mean, the cumul or the, the host can oh, be... Actually, the host or some addition. I mean, I, 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 I'm a customer who has a, has a VM, mm -hmm. and I want to be sure that the, the, oops, the host, which is, a, uh, which is a, a supplied by some uh, a vendor, is not looking at my, uh, my passwords and, uh, and keys. I don't understand, because yeah. it is exposed, mm -hmm. actually. Mm. Yeah. It, this is software, it's not hardware. I don't have uh, direct access to the hardware and write the, uh, my, uh, my keys to the hardware. All mm -hmm. my secrets are in the open. Yeah. And the questions from you? Yes, what, how can I be protected? Oh, I think this, this is related to another technology. We actually, in our team, we have a, a such kind of technology. We call it KPT key protection technology. Okay, but this is not related to VWIO I crypto, I think. Yeah. I mean, if uh, you want it to be for the cloud, mm -hmm. you must be able to get the client the protection. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you would not use it. Otherwise, you would not use it. Yeah, actually, for, for KBT, uh, this, this device can, uh, can save the secret key. As you know, uh, uh, if you have uh, more Interesting for KPT. Actually, I, I can uh, I can talk to you offline and probably send you some some information for this for this feature. Okay. Just a quick question because I'm sorry I was a bit late, so maybe you mentioned it. I just want to confirm. So from the part that is actually merged, this multi instance capability of the virtual driver to have multiple instance, it's actually already merged. You, you mean uh, fr from the driver? Yeah, multiple <coughs> instances in, in multiple VMs. Yes, it, it, it's a pair, right? It, it's already merged. Uh, you mean merged in the uh, QMU and yeah. from the driver? Yes, yes, I think, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, can, you can get a reference code uh, in QMU and Linux kernel. That's fine. Because there are other use cases which would like to use multiple instances. Like in the case, you have uh, one uh, virtual driver which provides multiple instances in multiple VMs and then you have a vhost you can you can yeah you can assign multi virtual uh, device to uh, to different VMs right because as far as i know this is the first <coughs> actual driver who does that who has multiple instances in multiple VMs mm -hmm. to leading to the same resource yeah 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 and that's merged yeah nice thanks okay any other <coughs> questions Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah.